Good morning, everyone. I would like to talk a little bit today about what it means to have goodwill. And goodwill is kind of everything. I wanna start with this statement that we all know, uh, we think, it, well, it's a scripture verse, but it's a mistranslated scripture verse that we hear every Christmas, which is um, part of the nativity story um, where the quote from the heavens is, peace on earth, goodwill towards men. And, you know, again, it's on all the Christmas cards. I'm sure I've sent a few Christmas cards over the years with that quote. That is a mistranslation. It's actually a Protestant mistranslation. And what the actual quote is in uh, Luke's gospel there is, peace on earth to men of good will. Now you can see the subtle difference because peace on earth, goodwill towards men simply means, gosh, everybody's favored, basically. Goodwill to, to everyone, God has goodwill towards everyone, which of course he does have goodwill, period. But the translation is peace on earth to men of goodwill, meaning men of goodwill, those who have goodwill in their own hearts, in their own mortal human hearts, will have peace. That's who will have peace. So people of bad will will not have peace simply because Christ is coming into the world. Uh, there is a delineation there. There is a line between good and bad, uh, between goodwill and bad will in human beings. And so, of course, our job as Christians, our job is to align our will to God's will. And I think some of the other videos have talked about that. But that really is what puts us in a state of friendship with God. Um, and God's will, of course, would include um, becoming baptized, um, you know, receiving the sacraments and uh, living according to God's moral law. And so people of goodwill would be in friendship with God. And um, people of bad will are people who want to do their own thing, their own will against God's will. They're not interested in suppressing their own will and their own desires and instead doing God's will. So that's what we call dying to self. So you die to self, you kill your own will so that you do God's will. That is being a person of goodwill. Now, some people who aren't Christians might have that wish and that will to do what God wants, despite the fact that they've never heard of Jesus Christ. And that's all, that's a whole other topic. But, um, but those people would also be searching, you know, for God's will and they want to do the right thing. They want to do God's will, not their own will. So, um, we have this problem because we think that people who are nice, and I just did an article in Crisis Magazine about this that actually did pretty well because I think it resonated with a lot of people. It's called Don't Be Fooled by Nice, and I'll put it in the notes, but we tend to think that if people are nice, then they're people of goodwill. And it, nothing really could be further from the truth, that that is not a given in any way, shape, or form. But recently I even heard a priest talk about how um, you know, Jesus said that he who does the will of my father is my mother, my brother, and my sister. That's what makes someone his brother, his mother, or his sister. Um, and, I, and I heard a priest say that the um, some Protestant ministers that he works with on crisis cases, who also are very much pro LGBTQ, very much, um, these are, a few of them are women pastors, um, but basically probably very left-wing in their, you know, theology and just really probably rejecting the moral law. Um, really what we call mortal sin. So LGBTQ stuff, abortion stuff, um, you know, heresy, apostasy, all that stuff. You can't be in goodwill if you're pushing all that stuff, because basically you're not helping people get to heaven. You may be helping them feel better on earth, but that is not meaningful if they go south, right when they die, if they have not been saved, if their soul is not aligned with God, if they're not in friendship with God. So what I heard the priest saying was basically, hey, these are, these are good people and they are um, just like us. Yeah, we may disagree on some things and he didn't want to minimize that, but Mm -mm, no, I mean, these are major, major issues that he was talking about. 
that uh, are moral issues. So if we're not in a state of grace, if we're not in friendship with God and trying to do God's will, and if in fact we're pushing things that, um, especially in a position of authority, that will lead people away from God, away from grace, then that means we're working in, um, according to our own will, against God's will. So there can't be peace there, and there can't be a way that we could just say, because they're nice and because they're doing great things to people who are in crisis, that somehow they're in God's will, and somehow they're in friendship with God. That, that's just not Catholic theology. It's never been. We can't suddenly change Catholic theology just because we think people are really nice and that they're really, we think they're good people because they're doing good um, earthly things, and they may have natural virtues, that is not an indication of who is in the will of God and who is uh, going to heaven or leading others there. So we have this massive disconnect that is really very worldly, that we're not teaching Catholic truth, we're not teaching the Catholic faith as to how to be a person of goodwill and how to have um, our, our soul, our um, ourselves are in alignment with God's will and how to be friends and in friendship with God and die in a state of grace. So I think I'm going to talk about next time or soon something about why the bishops don't talk about salvation of souls. That just doesn't seem to be something that interests most bishops. It should be number one priority. It's not even talked about in many ways. So anyway, let's start thinking about goodwill and bad will in the ways that Catholics think about it traditionally for 2000 years and not the way the world talks about it. So let, let's start there. And that's really basic, basic stuff. So, all right, we will talk again soon. God bless.